Hey, this is Dylan Jacobson, you're watching Coffee with Crystal. Hey guys, it's Coffee with Crystal. I want to introduce Dylan Jacobson. How are you? It's good to be here. Yay, so tell us a little bit about you guys drove all the way out here today because you're doing like a radio tour. We've been driving like crazy. Like, I mean like crazy. Like when you say radio tour, I don't think a lot of people understand like what all radio tour encompasses. Right. And it's, for me, I've been touring for years, but this is the first like full blown radio tour we're doing. So like we're driving, like we have a station in the morning, a station in the afternoon, a station in the evening. And it's like coordinating all these different spots every day and we're hitting like 150 radio stations. So. That's awesome though. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. So you're not like the typical country guy. Like you didn't grow up in a farm. Yeah. You didn't grow up with music in your family, did you? Uh, no, well, music lovers. There were music lovers right, in my okay. family. Um, and we love, like my parents would always take me to concerts and all that stuff and, and you know, like, I grew up in music and, and it was something that like I started playing guitar at a super young age and it just carried with me and it was all I ever wanted to do with my life. Awesome. So some of your influencers, um, hello, Chris, or was it Chris Stapleton? Yes. Tom Petty. Of course. And Eric Church. Of course. Right? So tell us, like, did you grow up listening to them or, well, I mean, you're not yeah. that young because Eric hasn't been around that long. Yeah, I'm, 20, <laughs> yeah, I'm 25 um, and you know what, I think I... I pull in influences from so many different places because I grew up listening to music and, right. and um, yeah, you know what? Like I, I do a Tom Petty cover song live. I've been doing it live for since like 2011, and just like every show, and like people know that is like one of the songs in my set now. They're like, you have to play Tom Petty Free Fall, and um, that's such a great song too. Yeah, like, I'm like right? singing it in my head, like okay, <laughs> I won't sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, funny enough, we actually cut that song on the new album, so uh, it's one of those things that it's super exciting. Like people were asking, like. And I was like, you know what? I've never cut a cover song before, but let's do it and let's right. we put it on the physical copy of the record. But you know, I love I love all kinds of music, and I think when someone listens to one of my songs, I think I pulled influences from all these different places, and I hope that when they listen to one of my songs, they eventually like, yeah, that's a, that sounds like a Dylan Jacobson song. Right. Well, yeah. I was listening to you, and I always like yeah. to say that so and so, if so and so and so and so had a baby, this would be you. Yeah. And I feel like with you, it's like if Eric Church and Chris Stapleton okay. were to have a baby. And then there might have been a third person in there too, but that gets weird. Yeah. But <laughs> I feel like you yeah. have that tone to you. Thank you. That's a big compliment. You know, they, like those, like I said, those people are huge influences mm -hmm. of mine. Um, I think the thing that really drove me to country music is the songwriting. Um, I've always been a songwriter, and um, yeah, I, I, that's a big compliment. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. No, I really do love your sound. Now I'm hearing that you literally you learn to play every single instrument yeah like that you play in your in every album yeah you know what like it, it's it's crazy because it's so unconventional yeah like, i'm like, like every instrument boy yeah and you know what like and it wasn't something where it was like you know what like i'm just gonna do this and be all like show off here or whatever right. like uh it's i mean i've literally done it ever since i was a little kid i remember my parents would get me this little eight track recorder when i was a little kid i was writing songs at like 10 years old and uh eight track i'm not sure a lot of kids even yeah, know right? what track is. <laughs> this is recording on this little thing and, and uh, so I, I sit there with my acoustic and i record my acoustic and vocal and then i i had all these different instruments that i was collecting and i just kind of put them over the top and and i was making these these recordings um and it's funny all these years later like for the first time on this new record i literally was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do everything on it. Right. Never been more proud. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this record or this new album that you have, which is uh, from where I begin. I am. Are I we? am. Yeah. Oh, I am. Okay. I am. Okay. It says. All right. So I don't know where I got this from. It says your first album is from where I began. Yes. So okay. that, that was that was the first. Okay. Record. I was like, yeah, wait a right. minute. Where did this come from? You're right. <laughs> yeah. From where I began. Uh, that was. This was my first full-length record that I put out a couple years ago, and then this is the follow-up. It's called "I Am." It actually just came out on March eighth. Okay. Um, but this is this is the record that's been like twenty-five years in the making for me. I think every artist looks for that one record that they fully believe in and, and really tells the story of who they are and like the artist that they want to sound like and the artist that they want to be. And I think we finally found that. Like up until this point, it was like, "Who is Dylan Jacobson, an artist?" You didn't really know it was up in the air. But I feel like when people listen to this record, they're really gonna know like who I want to be and what I sound like and and. and story that I want to tell. Right. So yeah. mom and dad, usually because yeah. I, when I decided to get into radio, my mom's like, what? Like, yeah. you know, you're not going to make a lot of money, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But I love it. So how, how are mom and dad, were they supportive of it? They've been so supportive of me, you know, like, 
ever since day one. I, I like I've been playing guitar since I was like eight years old, and and they always encouraged me to go out and do like the school talent shows and right? all that stuff. I was one of those kids that did it all like all the way from like elementary school all the way through high school, and like there was open mics that I would go to, and my parents would take me out to those every other week. Um, as well as just like taking me out to shows and, and, and exposing me to all this great music and and it carried with me you know like when I taught him they always I think they always knew that I wanted to be a rock star when I grew up like <laughs> a, like the second that I graduated high school I was out on the road touring like that summer so right so yeah. there was never any anything else you wanted to do no I remember people in school like teachers and stuff they'd always be like so what are you gonna do after you graduate you're gonna go to college and like what are you gonna study and all this stuff and I was like ha ah. I'm, I'm, too, I'm too good. cool for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm way too cool for yeah. that. That is yeah. hilarious. All right, so you've opened up for some big names already. I have. Yeah, you know, lots of lots of great people. Right, yeah. Low Cash is one of my favorites. Oh, Preston and nice. Chris yeah. are just, I mean, they're amazing. So what was it like being on the road with those guys? I love those guys. They, right? they are, you know, when you talk about the grind, like they have been at it, I think, 11 or 12 years now, and it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy to watch like their story and you know that I respect guys like that like low cash and then especially a lot of the Texas guys that were they're out on the road grinding for years and years like Aaron Watson and Granger Smith and, and yeah that's the that's the story that I want to tell in my music you know right. like I've been touring for years and it's just one of those things where you want to you want to be able to find yourself as an artist through those years of touring as well so what's been your highlight so far I mean you still have so much ahead of you. I mean, you're just beginning. Yeah. But so far, as of today, what has been your highlight? Oh man, honestly, the highlights for me are are the moments where I get on. St I'm, I'm all about the live performance, and it's the moments, honestly, when I get on stage. And it doesn't. It's not even like the big stages. It's the it's the stages for me where you go up on stage and everyone in the room is just completely silent. They want to hear. They come for the show and they want to hear every single song. And and I'll go up there and play like a seventy five minute headlining set or whatever. And and they they never lose attentiveness or whatever. And right. it's it's that was the amazing moments for me. Like it, it is especially true in I think the small towns, like the small oh, markets yeah. that you play because they're just so appreciative of it. The smaller yeah. markets they have heart. Them, you know, yeah. where the bigger cities, it's kind of like, I hate to say it because I'm, I'm a city girl, yeah. but a little snobby. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, we, we can be a little snobby. Like, yeah, we get music all the time. Yeah, like, no you know? big deal. We get those big guys all the time. Yeah. No big deal at all. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about I Am. Yeah, you know, that, that the whole record for me is a concept record. And that's that's another thing that's the first thing for me. I've never put together a record that, that every song kind of flows into another. It takes you on a journey from beginning to end. That's awesome. Yeah, and so that was a really cool thing. A lot of firsts on this record. And I mean, I, I wrote all the songs, put all the instruments, produced. You wrote and, all the songs? Yeah, all 100%. Of that's awesome. Yeah. That's very unheard of. You hear them say, like, oh, I wrote yeah. one song, two songs. But to have written yeah. the whole thing. And that's another thing for me where like it's something I've been doing ever since I was a little kid. Granted, when I was ten I wasn't writing the best songs. Kind of, it's all right. right. You were writing you great songs at that time. Yeah, every, oh, of course. Like at the, <laughs> at, at the moment I thought those songs were legendary. I was like, right. why aren't these songs like on the radio? You know, but uh yeah, it's like one of those things that stuck with me for years and and that's all I know. It's just doing it my way, you know? Right. Yeah. That's awesome though. Alright, so tell us what do you what do you see yourself five years and then ten years from? Well, uh, as far as this year goes, you know, like we're out on, on radio tour right now with the new single in America, um, going huge on this one, trying to hit every, every radio station ever, like in all these different markets and, and, um, hopefully that's going to lead to a whole bunch more singles off this record. We've got a whole bunch of singles in the bag for it. And, um, after that, you know what, we're just going to be touring hard. I hope to strive five, 10 years down the road to be like those those Aaron Watson and those Granger Smith, they've really created like this brand for themselves. Right. And and it's just amazing. You know, we've been out on the road with Aaron a whole bunch and like just seeing his how loyal his fan base is, he'll come to a town and just just his fan base is so great to even to me when I'm the opening act, like I truly appreciate Aaron bringing me out on the road with him. It's always yeah. awesome when you know that you're headlining for these other guys, yeah. but the fact that they show you just as much love and support, because you think about it, every time you open for someone, yeah. you now have gained, even if it is one fan, yeah. out of how many are there. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes way more, but still. Absolutely. Like, he's not only the fans, like, like he's he's put us in these situations where, yeah, we're getting in front of this big audience of his, and and uh, that's and it's incredible. But, you know, even beyond that, it's just like, 
him taking us out on the road and like they've taught us so many things just about the artistry and and the behind the scenes things and and uh, I remember like the first time that we played it off with him it was about a little over a year ago uh, they showed us this huge merch setup that they did and right. we're like what are you gonna do uh, you gotta get all this stuff and all that and then we it was funny we didn't see him for a couple months and then we showed up at a show and we had all the same merch stuff with them and they were like hi you listen you're like, yeah, of course, I've got to sell yeah. it anyway. Yeah. All right, so where can people go to hear your music, get yeah. us your website? Absolutely. You can find me online anywhere you can spell my name right. That's the hardest part. So I always yeah, spell it for everybody. Yeah, I know. Wait, did I spell it right? You did. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> Amazing. Words are hard yeah. for me. My listeners know this all the time. Words are yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's D-Y-L-A-N-J-A-K-O-B-S-E-N. Um, I'll make sure the link's out. Yeah, the K and the E get everyone every time, but I swear I just woke up one day and that was my name and I guess I'm sticking to it, you know. (laughs) Right, all right, so tell us about the song you're going to perform for us, or songs, however many you want to do. Uh, I was going to do In America, the new single for y'all. I heard that one, that was awesome. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, and uh, if you guys want to check out the video, click the link below.